some of what David Mabuza had to say a short time ago. Well, Tabegile, the deputy president of the ANC taking the time to really look at the history of the military wing of the ANC, um, Kondo, says, and the important role it played in the liberation struggle, going on to say that it is through this liberation wing that South Africa was able uh, to attain democracy and part of, of course, that struggle was uh, through, you know, this fight by this liberation uh, movement as well as this, this uh, military wing, rather. But he goes on to speak really about the issues that are facing the ANC, saying that at the moment, uh, you know, as they celebrate this uh, uh, 60th anniversary, it is important to be mindful of the challenges that are facing the matter body. She's talking now about the factionalism within the party, also speaking about manipulation of processes to influence outcome. He says the outcomes of the recent local government elections should be a wake-up call to the ANC and calls on the military wing to, of course, be the conscience of the uh, uh, you know, ANC, saying that it should also be involved in the social ills that are facing uh, today's uh, South Africa, saying that gender-based violence has become one of those things that the party needs to look at. And what's the point of celebrating the spear and the shield if this military wing cannot protect its own country. And when it comes to Mkondoresi, so with the ANC, especially in the last year or so, there's been a lot of news headlines, controversy with the disbandment of the Mkondoresi, the Military Veterans Association. Interesting then to hear that the ANC still believes the broader Mkondoresi, even after times of conflict, still has a significant role to play in modern day South Africa. Absolutely, and you speak to some of the members of the Umkonto we see, so they believe in the renewal of the organization, saying that the renewal, uh, the renewal of the organization will basically pave the way to a reformed Umkonto Uwesizwe, saying that, uh, you know, this particular wing was not formed on the basis that uh, people expected a thank you from South Africans. They expected to be rewarded for the, you know, work that they did in the liberation struggle, but it was really to benefit the country, and they still believe that uh, the military wing has a place in today's society and therefore the renewal then becomes absolutely important in, of course, forging a hand. In the NC Newsroom Africa report at Freedom Park where the ANC has gathered this afternoon to mark 60 years since the formation of the Mkondo Wesizwe Military Association, well not the association but the Mkondo Wesizwe unit itself, a military wing of the ANC formed in apartheid times.